Hello everyone, and welcome back to Research Graduate. Today we are going to tell you how to write research aims and objectives. The steps and the guide is here. So, without any further delay, let us head straight to the topic. What is a research objective? Research objectives describe what your research project intends to accomplish. They should guide every step of the research process, including how you collect data, build your argument, and develop your conclusions. Your research objectives may evolve slightly as your research progresses, but they should always line up with the research carried out and the actual content of your paper. Research aims A distinction is often made between research objectives and research aims. A research aim typically refers to a broad statement indicating the general purpose of your research project. It should appear at the end of your problem statement, before your research objectives. Your research objectives are more specific than your research aim and indicate the particular focus and approach of your project. Though you will only have one research aim, you will likely have several research objectives. Why are research objectives important? Research objectives are important because they establish the scope and depth of your project. This helps you avoid unnecessary research. It also means that your research methods and conclusions can easily be evaluated. Contribute to your research design. When you know what your objectives are, you have a clearer idea of what methods are most appropriate for your research. Indicate how your project will contribute to extant research. They allow you to display your knowledge of up-to-date research, employ or build on current research methods, and attempt to contribute to recent debates. How to write research aims and objectives Once you've established a research problem you want to address, you need to decide how you will address it. This is where your research aim and objectives come in. Step 1. Decide on a general aim Your research aim should reflect your research problem and should be relatively broad. Example. Research aim to assess the safety features and response times of self-driving cars. Step 2. Decide on specific objectives. Break down your aim into a limited number of steps that will help you resolve your research problem. What specific aspects of the problem do you want to examine or understand? Example, research objective, to measure the response time of self-driving cars to pedestrians. Step 3. Formulate your aims and objectives Once you've established your research aim and objectives, you need to explain them clearly and concisely to the reader. You'll lay out your aims and objectives at the end of your problem statement, which appears in your introduction. Frame them as clear declarative statements, and use appropriate verbs to accurately characterize the work that you will carry out. Example Explaining your research aim and objectives The aim of this research is to assess the safety features and response times of self-driving cars. Using quantitative methods, I will measure the response time of self-driving cars, first to other moving vehicles and then to pedestrians. I will also test their awareness of nearby inanimate obstacles, example sidewalks. SMART Research Objectives The acronym SMART is commonly used in relation to research objectives. It states that your objectives should be specific, make sure your objectives aren't overly vague. Your research needs to be clearly defined in order to get useful results. Measurable, know how you'll measure whether your objectives have been achieved. Achievable, your objectives may be challenging, but they should be feasible. Make sure that relevant groundwork has been done on your topic or that relevant primary or secondary sources exist. Also ensure that you have access to relevant research facilities, labs, library resources, research databases, etc. Relevant, make sure that they directly address the research problem you want to work on and that they contribute to the current state of research in your field. Time-based, set clear deadlines for objectives to ensure that the project stays on track. Hope you find this video insightful and knowledgeable to help you in writing your research objective. Anytime you feel like you are not able to do it on your own, call us right away and we will do that for you. We can help you with writing the entire research paper as well. Stay tuned to Research Graduate to get more such videos. Till then happy research. Also if you have any of the PhD and Master's related service requirements, 
visit our website www.researchgraduate.com check out the description for more contact details.